Hi, my name is Henry from Quicksilver Service. I want to show you how you can detail with the software. So far, I've shown you how you can do the modeling, I've shown you how you can do your design. Now, let's see how you can um, detail with the software. Now, detailing column and foundation will be handled in a, in, a, in a later lesson. Okay, but now I just want to show you how you can do your floor slab details and, of course, your beam details. Okay, now remember you can always um, show the panel numbers and the 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 beam numbers. Okay, now to detail my slab, I just have to click on the detailing tab, and then I will click on floor slab details. Then it's trying to sh um, know the orientation. I want the grid numbers to go. Okay, if you want numbers on x axis and letters on y axis, then you can create this. Okay, we say create new grid. So as you can see, my slab is detailed. Okay, so you can do the slab detailing, and of course, the slab detailing is taken into um, the drawing view, as I said earlier. So I can see I can rename this my slab, or I can call it first floor slab details. Okay. So this is my first floor slab details, you know, all the reinforcements are done, the colored bars are also neatly done. Okay, so you just have to um, go through and of course you can change or and edit some of these entries if you want. Okay, but we'll talk about that in a later lesson. So that's my floor slab details, very simple, all you need to do is click on detailing tab and then you click on your floor slab detailing details. Okay, now to um, go back. I'll just go back to floor view and then click on to view and then click on floor view. Remember to drag the scroll bars up for you to see your drawing. Now to detail the beam, I just go to beam detail the detailing again and I'll click on beam details. As you can see the software details the beam right away without any trouble. So this my beam details. Everything is all detailed. Okay. So that is basically how you can detail the beam and the slab. And of course you do this floor by floor. I can change the name to first floor beam details. Okay, so it, it's quite very simple. That is basically how you detail your beam and your slot. Okay, and the software just um, get to the floor where you want the you want to detail. Let me change this back to floor view. Um, when you get to the floor, like if you want to detail the beam and slab for the second floor, just get to that second floor and then you detail the beam and slab. That is just the way it works. It's quite that simple and straightforward. Now for um, uh, information about how you can detail the column and design the column of course we'll, we'll do that in a later lesson and then your path foundation too will do that in a later lesson and then um, the raft slab also is quite very simple just go back to details then of course go to the raft as you need the ground floor is a raft and you click on raft slab details it will detail that now to generate the layout um, the the beam GA for instance the floor general arrangement just get the the floor and just click and automatically it will generate the arrangement so I can call this my first floor general arrangement first floor I can call it first floor GA okay now um, that, that is that then if I want to go back just go back and click on the floor view and then remember as I said earlier the earlier my drawing is organized uh, if I want to see my drawings my details just click on floor view 
on the drawing view and then you can see all your drawings you can see them well organized in the drawing view if i want to see back my model just go back to floor view okay but that is basically how you can detail with the software it's quite very simple and straightforward and any element that is detailed you can easily generate the barbending shadow for that element take my slab for instance okay i can easily generate the barbending shadow for this slab all i need to do is um click on just bring up the slab first of all click on drawing view bring up the the the, the, the details and then go to quantities and i will just click create bar bending shadow as you can see automatically the bar bending shadow is created you can see the bar shape you can see the tonnage of steel And, and it will create so many pages. You can see the other one was this is for page one, the next one is page two. And in a click, you can take all these to a PDF or to AutoCAD and then um, um, and apply more editing. Or you can print direct with the software, okay, which you will see in a later lesson. Okay, um, this is my um, first floor slab bar bending shadow okay so that is it to do your beam shadow it's just very simple bring out the beam like this is the beam all i need to do is to click on create bar, bar, bending, sh bar bending shadow um the foundation bar shadow is just only for foundation okay so you click on this you can see it i've brought out my um, um beam bar shadow okay i can just copy the weddings and then um change i can um copy this then come and change this to first floor beam by bending shadow so that is it about detailing and, sh and preparing by a shadow. It's quite very simple and straightforward with the software. I mean, it, it just simplifies the whole thing. Okay, so that is it. I hope you have enjoyed this. You have seen how you can do your detailing and how you can do your barbending shadow. As I said, in subsequent lessons, you will see how you can design the column, then detail the column, and of course, your foundation design and foundation detailing. Okay, I hope you enjoy this. Thank you.